Hello everyone, this is Taki from Becky at Taki.com and welcome to my studio. It's been a long time since I had camera girl to be my camera girl and so thank you. Uh, it's my iPhone 8 and typically I don't use that camera to shoot YouTube videos but I thought I would do a quick one because today is my day off and I kind of wanted to show you what, what do I carry on my day off when I'm with my wife and she doesn't want me to lug around a lot of equipment so often uh, I'll carry one film camera which is usually a point and shoot and one digital camera which is usually something compact like this or it's vice versa meaning I'll carry for instance if I'm carrying a Leica or a larger film camera then I would carry a much smaller like a Ricoh GR digital so usually one digital and then one film so today this is my setup and so let's do a quick what's in my bag so let's start now Okay, so to begin, uh, X100F, uh, love this camera mostly because of its compact size and the fact that it is a leaf shutter, so that means I can put on a pop-up flash, which is in my bag. Uh, I could have equally used the Ricoh GR or GR2 or even GRD4, and as well the Fujifilm X70. So any kind of a compact camera, I don't need to zoom. Again, it's my day off with my wife, and so I want to keep everything as compact as possible. But today I just happened to use the X100F, and I do have the X70 lens, which I like because it's uh, the X100F, the, the, um, the hood is a two-piece, and I find sometimes it comes off. So this is good enough, but there are third-party um, hoods that you can put on here other than that. And I do have a YB Putro uh, cracked, leather uh, strap that I also really enjoy using. So that's my main camera, which is you know around my neck like this, and I'll stand up and just kind of show you kind of like this. And so if you back off like that, this is kind of, you know, it's not too intrusive that my wife will think, what on earth is my husband doing with all that camera equipment? So this is kind of what it looks like when I'm on my day off, all right? So let's now go into my camera bag and get camera girl to get a little bit closer. So this is not a protective camera bag by any means. It is a um, just a, a cotton type bag, but I like it. I think it's made by Baggy Port, but there's lots of brands like this in Japan. You go to places like Tokyo Hands or um, what's the other place? Um, Loft. Places like Loft or Tokyo Hands, they have a pretty decent kind of a hipster bag section. And this is not a camera bag, but it really suits my purpose. But the, uh, there are a lot of brands even here that like this, where they're no, it has all the compartments that you need. And as long as you're not carrying anything too fragile, and even if you are, you just put it inside a case. So let's go into the main body, the main section here right now. Uh, here are my... Uh, Ray-Ban Wayfarers, the new wafer, so that fits in nicely in here. Don't want to scratch them up, but it's in my camera bag. And as well, um, I talked about this before in my other video. This is my, I think it's called the, the Kilo by, by Chrome. I think it's called the Kilo, is it focusing on camera girl? Yeah, so this bag, it basically comes with me, doesn't matter what bag I have. So it has like my, 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 uh, my main, charger, my lightning charger, it has my contact lens case, I have electrical tape, electrical tape, and then I have my my charger, spare, spare battery, and then my even another bag within a bag, which in here is, and this is something I would recommend, a lot of, I find that women have purses and men don't have this type of thing, and this is also from Japan, I forgot the name of this brand, but it's a nice little leather leather case. And in here, I have eye drops. I have like, you know, like aspirin and melatonin, that kind of stuff in here. And as well, I have the little, um, the little pin to remove the, your, your micro, your SIM cards out of your mobile phone. Because when you travel, that little pin, you need that pin. So I keep that in here. I have a, a spare pen in here. You can put change, chapstick. You have chapstick, and then I have my my space pen. So this as well follows me everywhere I go. And then if I'm let's just say I need to go even more compact than something like this, and I need to let's just say it's just um, a quick jog, or maybe I'm in a suit and I just want something really small, and I can attach my keys to this. Then this holds just like the bare minimum, right? So I can, in fact I can put, and I should have put, is my. Um, is my contact lens case inside here, so that'll fit in here as well. And 
as well. I forgot to show you here. I usually carry some kind of a multi-tool with me. So this is the Leatherman, I forgot the name of this line here. Uh, the juice, the S2 juice, and it has, you know, your kind of your basic stuff. It has a wrench, it has scissors, it has a little knife, it has a can opener. And so you never know when you're out and about and you just need to tighten something a little bit, like a screw or something, or you need to just kind of get something open. It's nice to have a, uh, something like this. I have the full size Leatherman Charge. I think it's called the Charge that's with the titanium handle. So I have the big guy and I have multiple multi tools, but this is just, small enough so that it's always with me no matter where I am. So this is my bag within a bag inside this really well made, made in USA chrome kilo. I think it's called the kilo. And it has the, the webbing in the back and the strap so you can attach it inside your bag if your bag has molly strapping or some kind of a way of having this connect. And there's a little thing here as well that you can connect. And it's clear in the back, kind of, so you can see inside. So I have that inside. And in here, as I mentioned, a bag within a bag, I have uh, a Yashica T4 inside a little pouch here, and you can use any pouch, it just kind of keeps it protected. And then I have my Japan Camera Hunter uh, Enjoy Film from Camera Film Photo, so thank you, Michelle, for this. This is a special edition color Kodak Yellow, but I have film to be processed, so you can see this has already been processed, so I gotta drop these off right here, so finished. And then I also have new rolls in here to pop in once I'm finished. So when I finish my new, my last, my, my roll in this camera, I pop it in here, then I pop in a new roll. So that's all I need, right? Five rolls in here. And then in here is my compact flash, my Lightpix Labs, um, the Flash QQ20, which I love because it has bounce. And also it's wireless. So you leave this on the hot shoe and you can still do wireless. It actually has a uh, modeling light and it has a video light on here as well. So, fantastic flash. I should really be doing a review on it, but I think this is fantastic, it's awesome. And because the, uh, the X100F is a leaf shutter uh, lens, that means I could flash sync right up to one four thousandth of a second. Although I think Fujifilm doesn't recommend one four thousandth, but to one two thousandth, but I've done it and it's a little bit dark, but it's better than nothing. But I can flash sync to one four thousandth of a second with a compact, flash like this, so that's why Ricoh GR or X100F are fantastic combinations. And what else do I have in here? Oh, so in the back, there's two little kind of separated compartments, if you can see that. So in here, I have my little notepad here with the Rodia uh, notepad and with a little pen in here as well. There's a built-in pen. And then over here is my wallet, right? So I don't have to worry about having wallets in my pocket. And then it still has two front pouches, and then one side is just kind of, it have, I have my headphones and all my, my dongles because, you know, the iPhone 8 needs the dongles, right? So I can be listening in one and then charging with the other. And then I have the standard adapter that it will adapt uh, non, non, where is it now? The non, it's in here, there you go. So you can put a standard uh, eighth inch jack or 3.5 millimeter jack into my iPhone 8. Uh, so I have those two and it's always good to have headphones because sometimes if I'm taking a long call and I'm driving or if I'm out and about walking, instead of having a phone to my ear, it's just nice to have the, the, the ear, po ear, ear pods on, but eventually I will upgrade to the AirPods, but I want AirPods 2, I don't want the version one. And then on this side, I just put in my keys right here and in fact, I, I'm not using this now, but on the side there's another little mini pocket and my little um, flashlight fits in here. A little flashlight there. And I can feel one more thing in here. And it is actually my lighter. I don't smoke, but for some reason I'm thinking there may be a need to, to make a fire at some point. You know, what if there's an earthquake or something and, and you need to make a bonfire, but I always carry a lighter on me. And there you go, that's it. It all fits inside this, this little bag, the whole thing. And this little bag, when I actually travel, I do just roll this up like this, and I put this bag inside my travel bag. So let's just say I travel somewhere, and I go out for dinner, and I don't wanna lug a big bag. This is my little bag that I take out with me, so it doesn't look like I'm trying to be a camera, camera guy. So if the camera just gets closer, you can see all this, all this stuff, other than this camera, all this stuff, fits inside this 
this little bag here. A lot of it is because there's no padding, there's nothing in here, and most of these things, they are protected, right? So my sunglasses are protected, this camera is protected, this is in a case, flash is in a case, my film is in a case, and these things can't really get damaged because they get banged around, and this is my main big pouch. So all this fits inside here, and that's what I carry on my day off. And so thank you so much, Camera Girl, for holding my iPhone. Please don't complain about the audio because I'm not even supposed to be working today. It's Camera Girl's day off, and I'm supposed to be spending time with her. So thank you so much for being the camera person for me, and we'll see you again soon next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, especially because if you want to see more of Camera Girl on camera, then you have to, you have to like and then hit that bell button thing so you get notices when I have a new video out. So thanks for watching and happy shooting.